We all subconsciously avoid specific colors while purchasing clothes, no? Or is it just me? Well, uh, have you ever bought a color that didn't complement your overall features and make you look dull? Or do you have a plethora of shades in your wardrobe that you never wear or don't know what to wear? Do you simply choose to wear black all the time because you don't know what colors best suit you? A few years back, when I was an artist, I decided that the same color analysis theory should transfer to my everyday life, especially in my wardrobe. Uh, and not only in theory, but in practice. After that, I discovered there's theory used to determine your season, which is winter, summer, spring and autumn, and it can be assigned to you as a color palette depending on that season. However, a traditional 12 seasonal color analysis proved to be very useful, but at the same time, not all people are able to fit into the specific category. There I understood that it is missing the key points from the art color theory since it is all interconnected. All tertiary colors would mean they are in the transition types on the seasonal color palette. Where am I going with all of this? Here, on this chart, you can clearly see all the primary colors, yellow, red and blue. After, there are all secondary and tertiary colors indicated right in the same spectrum. Even though the theory advocates that all blue color combinations are called by default and all green as well. I argue with that because we can clearly see the undertones of those shades indicated on the chart. The same goes to all tertiary colors. They cannot be used to find your undertone because they are mixes of warm and cold colors at the same time like ultramarine blue, for example. For an in-transition type, I like to use color harmonizations as monochromatic, analogous and complementary looks for the wardrobe. Life would just be way too easy if we had only 12 seasonal color palettes and only 13 Kiwi body types. Probably we would all look very similar like robots and luckily we don't. Why color analysis is so important and useful? Every season has a wide range of colors. It's said that your seasonal color brings the best out of your features, skin color, hair and eyes, and I cannot agree more. Seasonal color analysis is perfect for individuals who don't always confide in trends, for people who don't want to waste dollars on clothes every month, especially on clothes they, they won't wear, for personalities who don't want clothes to sit in their closet accumulating the dust, and for those who want to try different colors than black, been there and done that. While seasonal color analysis has a few limitations, it's still a contributing theory while generating a color palette that's unique for you. This analysis will help you to determine what season you are. The inspiration behind the seasonal color analysis. Back in the 19th century, as we know, painters like Monet, the Impressionist style, accurately depicted the color palette, the hue, tints, tones, shades for each season. They had to paint the true harmonious nature of every season and what colors best reflected their true essence and aura. With every passing season, you'd witness a wide array of natural color palettes and their contrasts. Spring's tinted vibrancy summer school sunsets colored in the shades of blue, autumn's deep earthy tones, winter's icy blues. Every season transitions into a new season gradually and elegantly. Sometimes we are too accustomed to notice it. However, those smooth transitions always allow individuals to enhance their personal color palette between two seasons. It wasn't until the 80s Carol Jackson's famous book Color Me Beautiful revolutionized what today is called seasonal color analysis. 
She used two significant tests to determine an individual's unique color palette with regard to their features, which are skin undertone, hair, and eyes. Temperature and hue, warm and cold undertones of your skin and overall features. Value, the lightness and darkness, deepness of your overall features. Please note, these two properties of colors offered us four seasonal color palettes. However, these four seasonal color palettes were very limiting for multiple individuals. That's when a third chromatic property of colors entered the chart. It was called chroma. Chroma gave birth to the 12 seasonal color palettes. We'll discuss this soon enough. What is in transition type before we start? Here I introduced four more seasonal options called in transition types, a totally separate types that sit between all the transitional types on the, on the chart. We can refer to Kate Middleton as an in transition type. The dots marked with the neon green on the chart are all in transition types. Where did I get that from and why do we need it? Here we need to come back to the basics of where the color actually began. As I mentioned previously, there are primary, secondary and tertiary colors. Primary colors are the basics. They are not extracted by mixing other shades. They serve as a point zero where you are going to start. Red, blue and yellow are considered primary colors. You will mix them in order to get the secondary colors such as orange, for example. So you would mix red primary plus yellow primary and you would get orange, a secondary color. The same way you would mix red primary plus blue primary and you would get purple, a secondary. And there are also tertiary colors that are basically a mix of primary and secondary colors. For example, magenta is a combination of red with purple. Magenta has been a mix of red primary and purple secondary. We got that. Here we are standing here. Thus, purple has been created by adding red primary and blue primary. In this conclusion, we have the admixture of double red which is going to serve as a warm primary undertone and blue in a much lesser quantity as a tint or what we call an overtone. Even though this tertiary color is going to be used a lot by transitional types or as complementary or analogous colors. For that reason, you cannot use magenta to determine your undertone just because it is a tertiary color that can be used in both warm and cold seasons. The in transition type will jump from one color palette to another just by virtue of being an in transition. The skin undertone in both seasons will be very similar or even the same and it will be warm and cold at the same time. And the contrast will jump from low to medium at most. This is what we call a neutral skin tone that will lean towards a warm if autumn, for example, and cold if summer, for example, and sometimes being right in the middle if you tend to jump quite often. This is especially helpful for people who cannot find their seasonal type and undertone and both gold and silver shades fit them perfectly well. If you are an in-transition type, you will even use both cold and warm colors for your wardrobe and not only for jewelry. And not only that. But this type can also wear cold conglomeration of cold plus warm at the same time. How to determine your skin undertone fast? Before we jump into the seasonal color analysis further on, let's determine the skin undertone. Like I said previously, it has been mentioned in multiple videos. The easiest way to figure out your undertone is the jewelry test. The golden and the silver shade near your face is going to be a major help for you. If you are leaning towards silver and you actually look better with it, you have a cool undertone most often. If vice versa, a warm one. If both fit you perfectly well, 
most likely you have a neutral undertone and take into consideration that you also might be an intransition type. Why the vein test doesn't really work for undertone determination? Multiple tests have been already done and tested all around the world showing that color of your veins is not a reliable source of the determination of your undertone. I have found an article of an insider, uh, this is the magazine, where the editor took a test like that, which showed that the color of her veins was blue. She should have had a cool undertone, which wasn't the case. However, after a thorough analysis, they came up with a warm undertone considering her eye color and the hair color and the overall hue. If you are able to see any yellow pigmentation in your irises, you are running a risk of being warm toned. Hair is not always so easy because we tend to change the hair tonality throughout our life. There is a risk that your current hair color doesn't correspond to your actual color palette and undertone. Why orange and magenta colors are not for undertone revelation? As I mentioned previously, secondary and tertiary colors are mixes of warm and cold colors. Orange and magenta can have different tonalities and basically chroma and value. You will not be able to identify your true undertone just by trying magenta near your face. If you want colors, Try grey to see if your appearance looks better with it or it makes you a little bit lost. Basically, for this uh, test, rely on the example of Bella Hadid, since she is soft summer and she looks better with greys. She flourishes in grey color, which makes her look even better uh, in comparison to other bright colors. For now, let's focus on understanding your hue and the value to determine which of the four seasons best describes you. Hue. It's warm or cold. Generally, hue is the prominent color family. Other colors are created by adding different tints, shades or tones, white, black and gray to the main hue. Orange, yellow and red are considered warm, while purple and blue are cooler colors. Please note, every color can have a warmer or cooler undertone. Warm undertones of your face. It can be a little confusing to determine your hue initially. Warm-hued faces often have the undertones of peach, golden and yellow in their skin, hair and even eyes. If you are warm-hued, you will lie somewhere between these three colors. Warm-hued faces have less contrast in their appearance because their hair and skin color blend and synchronize well with each other harmoniously. Cool undertones of your face. Cool hued faces have pinkish or bluish undertone in their skin. You wouldn't find a trace of gold, peach or yellow in their overall appearance, including the hair. Similarly, they often have darker, ashier and cooler hair without hints of light brown, blonde or golden, typically yellow. Value, deep or light. The value determines how dark or light the color using black and white to evaluate the whole image. Your overall value is easier to determine. Value majorly focuses on the hair color of an individual However, you can also consider skin tone and eyes as well. 